Hello everyone, my name is Master Sarman, and welcome back for more Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. This video is not going to contain any story progress whatsoever. I've been holding off on some surprises here and there, but one of the big reasons that made me want to do Nuts and Bolts as my final Let's Play, and for my 10 year anniversary, is that for a really, really long time, I've always enjoyed doing collab projects on my channel. And I also really thought that Nuts and Bolts would make a great series to show off the multiplayer features. There's a ton to this game's multiplayer. In fact, I've been more or less hoping to go for most of the achievements, but I can't even go for all the achievements in this game because a good chunk of them involve online ranked play, which I'm pretty sure still gets played, but probably not to the extent most people think. But yeah, there's a lot to the multiplayer that will not just be covered in this video. There's going to be several guests throughout the series for the multiplayer because, quite simply put, I'd be here all day if I was talking about it. There's no story progress made, although I will put a s big spoiler warning. I do use some vehicles that show off the parts we don't already have yet. That is a bit of a spoiler I will just throw right there, but it's only for really for the last race. With all that being said, Thank you, and enjoy. Hello everyone! My name is Master Sarman! <laughs> Alright. And, what do you want me to say? Well, what's your name? I don't know. I thought you were just gonna be like, D-Money! Well, I was thinking I'd be like, D-Money, or should you say go ahead? Or just go ahead, yeah. Yeah. yeah All right. So, there is a lot to the multiplayer in this game. If you want to join in, just hit the A button there as it says player 2 to join in. Um, uh, yeah, you might want to scroll down and find some... My account's on... Oh shoot, I'm signed into my Xbox Live account. That's fine, actually. Um, Who should I be? I, actually, if you want, I would... Who is this? Alex. He doesn't even have a 360 anymore. Um, if you want, I would recommend the LP Nuts and Bolts file, because that's what my let's, my actual save file is in the Let's Play. I, I don't... Um, it's basically... Xbox accounts are really weird, but... With, like, how saves are distributed over different files and stuff. I, I would just stick to PlayStation. Yeah. Alright. So... Yeah. Beginning up with all the stuff you can do here, there's a lot of different events you can actually do, and these are just the sports here. There's also all the races you can do here, too. But that's not it, too. Um, yeah, I would like to play with the Cardi. I don't know how many you can actually have in the party either. Um,. Like, I, because you can also do this over Xbox Live as well. I'm not totally sure how many you can have in this. Um. But one of the biggest things you can actually do here, and I'm going to let Darren have the choice for this. If you uh, decide to press the minus button while you're on this menu screen... We can now just freely roam the Testo track in multiplayer. Okay, it's... Now, I'm getting a sense of uh, the racing game that you are able to download in college. I think it's just, I forget the name, but it's pretty much the same thing where you can create share, create, you can't create vehicles, but you can you create your track and it's... Little Big Planet Racing? No, it's old. But I think that... Oh, I, I, I can't remember what company bought, bought out, but uh, someone bought it and you could get it on the Xbox here. That's pretty but, cool. But in a way that the old game was so loosely like, with all the controls that... You can say, oh, this is fucking unrealistic, uh, but uh, the new update of the 360 or the Xbox is pretty tight. 
If you want to make your own vehicle too, you want to hit up on the D-pad. Or like, hold up on the D-pad, I mean, sorry. Um, so this is its whole friggin' thing here. Um... So... There's a lot of different, um... How should I board this here? Um... This is kind of like your default card that you're, you have for most of the game here. Um... Turn my controller off by accident, why don't I? Um... I think you already kind of... You're, you already have a lot of the parts on the thing already. Um... Do you want to just, for ease of convenience, like, use one of the vehicles I have built? Because this is a save file that has, like, a million things on it. I would care less. Okay, um, press B. B. Uh, go over to the vehicle database. And you can just load up a, whatever you want, pretty much. Um. Uh, the, my blueprints. Oh, yeah, these, yeah, these are from my, uh, main save file, so... I was thinking for some reason, um... Actually... Eight ball. <laughs> <laughs> I made the 8-ball car for, um... The... There's one mission in the game that's basically 8-ball. Where you have to protect 8-ball. <laughs> like, a thing of 8-ball. Um, well... On Grand Theft Auto 3? No, um... Basically, Grunty in the game has this one mission where she, uh tries to, um, destroy a bunch of 8-balls, and you basically have to protect whatever ball is, like, there, and, yeah, I just made this. It's basically a helicopter plane. Oh, God damn it! my controllers. Don't be fucking up. There we go. Oh, I didn't expect it. Oh, God! <laughs> yeah. Oh, um... You see in, like, the upper corner of your screen, your freaking weapons keep on, like, attacking me there. I'm gonna get my vehicle out here, too. Um... Are playing Twisted Metal Black now, or...? <laughs> Twisted Metal Black! <laughs> or Twisted Metal? Yeah. Like yeah, totally. I wasn't one for playing those games. Yeah, I remember one time one of my cousins was saying, he was like, Yeah, I don't really care for Mario Kart because it's all, like, vehicular combat. Oh yeah, Zach, you ever play Twisted Metal? That was literally the exact thing he said to me afterwards. Wow. I, I was like, and Twisted Metal isn't vehicular combat? Well, it's more gore and blood and glory. Yeah. Uh. Um, I believe by pressing, like, the... A, B, and X buttons, you can use, like, some of your helicopters or wings or whatever. I think the helicopters were on the... Yeah, you have the helicopters open there. Yeah. So this is just kind of the shenanigans you can get around in, in this kind of world here, because... <laughs> I've said for a long time that the Tesla Track's a great screw-around area. There's a lot of stuff in here, and you can go in and play multiplayer in here, and... Like, I, I think this is a great little sandbox world, if I can be honest. It feels like the map in Halo 4, where you got the gravity hammers and you gotta go get the ball, I think. I've only really played Halo 4 at your place, like, twice, so I don't really know which map that is. But... Yeah, so it's pretty much the same thing as this map, only it's a lot smaller, but literally nothing is in it besides gray walls. The only map I remember in Halo 4 is the Valhalla map, which I don't, it's not called that, but it's what Valhalla was in Halo 3. Yeah, um, I'm not one for those games anymore. Just the Halo series in general, or? Yeah, like Halo 2 and 3 will have a, have a place in me, but yeah. I just don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same way with 3 and Reach. I, I don't play them much but these days, but I do like them quite a bit as games. I think that after Bungie left, that's when the series yeah. died. And I know that Bungie didn't make the remastered or the collection, but 
I can't, I hear the, like, collection isn't that bad, like the, the Master Chief collection. Yeah, I, I loved it. And then eventually I'd like to run, get the ODST on the game. It didn't come with it at first. Oh, there, it has ODST now? Yeah. Okay, I didn't actually know that. Yeah, but for some unknown reason, mine were just freaks. Spot Sometimes know. ports like that are really weird. Like, I know this game was ported on as part of Rare Replay on Xbox One. Oh. I, I don't know if you've played that or not. Or... I played, yeah, I did play it. I bought it, but I yeah. didn't, like, play every single game on it. <laughs> I'm assuming you bought it for Conquer? Duh. Who else? <laughs> yeah, fair what enough. What else? <laughs> yeah. Um, I actually, fun fact, before this Let's Play began, I almost considered buying an Xbox One to get Rare Replay for doing this. <laughs> well, my main reason, actually, this is a pretty old 360. I wasn't sure how well my 360 would have held up for something like this. For doing... I'm not sure how good my controller is holding up. That's definitely the... <sighs> um, let's see here. Mm, seems fine now. Whoops, sorry. But it didn't look like there was a, again, battery source in, in that uh, screen on my uh, controller. Uh, probably not. Well, your that battery, as far as I know, doesn't really work too well, from what I understand. No, it's battery. Yeah, it probably just gets the power from the cord. Yeah, but I expect them to not. Oh my fuck! This is a pain in the arse. I'm gonna have to tape it. Get the electrical tape. I have a lot of elastic bands on the Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, the elastic bands. I do, actually. You don't have long hair. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. It snapped. <laughs> I was like, how are you gonna do that without... Interfering, inter interfering with your other buttons. I still wonder that, but hopefully this might help a, help a little bit more. So, I think this game is interesting, but I don't, I don't, I don't really get this. So let's just choose one of the many game modes. Oh, okay, okay, that's this, this was literally just the fuck around oh, okay. free downtime area. So what? Should we just do random sport? Uh, there's downward spiral. I think these are DLC, but I'm not totally sure. Football, <laughs> darts, golf. I'm guessing soccer. This is a British game, so. Wait, what? British? <laughs> um, brawl, which I think is just fighting. Freewheeler, which I think that's like stunt. Doing stunt tricks and stuff. Basketball, air soccer, boat fighting, sumo, low gravity fighting, air fighting, long jump, which is kind of a greasy mode in normally anyway. Water water polo, or should we just do random? Or all right, random sport, and yeah. I really thought that this game would be like co-op in the campaign, not yeah. Oh god. Um. Oh, we're doing sumo. Uh, um. Uh. uh we, should, we should just. We could probably just stick with the default ones. I think that'd be more enjoyable for this. Something like this, just because like default vehicles are often the things you typically want to use. I never thought that you could make every sport game into a vehicle. Yeah. Oh crap. I... Oh god. Um... <laughs> not totally sure how that had to do with Zumo, but because I was not even really on the... Actually, I think it's just... Okay, yeah, we just get points based on how long we are on the thing. So it's more like King of the Hill rather than sumo wrestling. Speaking of King, King of the 
King of the Hill, uh, that guy who did the voice for Halo, that was pretty good. I'm gonna be honest, I've never seen King of the Hill. I know that sounds like a sad thing to admit, but it's... When I was a kid, I never really, really watched it either, but I do watch it now, mom. Yeah. These days, I just love it when he goes, God damn it, love it. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of people parody the new God of War game with uh, Hank Hill and his son. Oh. Like, there's just been, it's like pictures of Kratos and his son with, um... Hank Hill and uh, the, the kids' faces. <laughs> I never seen any of it because uh, I do oh, like crap. the God of War series. I even started playing them because of all the nasty oh, shit the game is nowadays. Yeah. So I wrapped the first one again, and I was. Just, I, I still do think of playing the new one. And it's yeah. It's kind of weird, but it goes with another mythology. Yeah, I, I like the God of War games. Um, I haven't played them much. Even though... No, I thought I might have had the HD versions of 1 and 2, but I guess I don't. I thought I did, but I can't remember at this I can point. Only see them being in collection, but I yeah. Ever well, like that's what I mean, like the collection. Like I have a lot. I have a lot of like PlayStation 3 HD collections and stuff. Hey dear, what did you do today? Well, I was trying to be the king of the hill. What? Yeah. Okay, this, uh, like I'm... I don't know why this mode go. I think that the five minute time limit is a bit much for this. Are you stuck or yeah, something? I'm, I'm literally stuck because I can't over. Uh, try the right bumper. Or you can press Y to get out of the vehicle. And, um... It's Grand Theft Auto! <laughs> and then, uh... You can use... Here, lady. I wanna you can use you ass. can use the right trigger to pick up the vehicle as well. Is he a god? Uh... Oh, right trigger? Oh. Yeah. And then... Uh... Did he just expend, extend his... Yeah. Um, no. Kaz <laughs> Kazooie has a magical wrench in this game. Um... And it lets her lift up stuff like that. Um. Oh, whoops! I'm trying to. There you go. Oh. oh I didn't know. Wait, what? Can I? Can I? Do I still get points if I'm in the? Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, they, they still count for my points. That's good. I was gonna say. Grand Theft Auto. Boom. In your face. Hey! None of that. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> Nail! None of that. <laughs> Nail! Do we have a visitor? Yes, Lord Guru. Nail! Take his coat. I don't have a coat. He doesn't have a coat, sir. I'm pretty sure this is the guy who killed our entire race. So I said, I don't care who you are. Now clean my jowls. And that was Nail's first day on the job. <laughs> I still have not seen that in a long time. <laughs> uh, I just downloaded a uh, music app or some shit like that. And I uh, just listen to music and I just would uh, type in Floor Guru on it. And <laughs> yeah. And I just loved it so much. I, I would laugh my ass off in college. And then they'd be like, what the hell, man? Sounds like, sounds like me in high school. <laughs> yeah. Except you were, uh, when we were doing a test or something, you were just literally sitting at your desk. Wait, wait. Chewing wait. on your earbuds, and I'm like, what, what are you doing? What fucking class was this? I've never fucking chewed my... Or, you were like staring into space. I that I could be doing. It was in grade 10 English. Oh. You were like staring in space, chewing on your earbud. I was gonna say, I like, sure as fuck don't remember this. And I'm but... like, what are you doing? But I never said it because yeah, yeah. it's my time. <sighs> so that was it for that. 
So, by the way, would you get copyright if I, like, if you put that stuff in the video? But I'm like, The nail Ew. thing? Yeah. Mm, probably not because, well, for one thing, we've referenced that before in Mario Kart 8. Well, I and just, I, I did more than, yeah. than that. No, I... Or I should just say, no, the I... following is a non-profit fan base parody. I doubt it, but two also, um... <laughs> The bridge series doesn't even get profit f to begin with, so. Non profit time based parody. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to view my gamer card. Is, is that, that normal? No, it's dead. And that means Guru is too. Ah ha ha! Oh. Lost my heartbeat for a minute there. Oh my god. Global warming! No! All right, looks, so like we're, looks like we're playing basketball today. <laughs> so I think let's just go with default vehicles again, because I think it makes the most sense. How, wait, but that's... I, I don't get it. Like, how can you make <laughs> a sport game, a racing game, too? I don't get it. Wait, what? Again, guys, I, I never played this. I'm sure there's a lot of people who haven't. But then some people go, Oh man, what are you doing? You just have to simply pick it up. Uh, fudge balls. Uh, what are you doing? That's mine. Wait. <laughs> I'm just now realizing player two looks kind of like, um... Like a Minjo or a Mingi Jongo type version of Banjo. I know you probably don't know what that exactly means, but. Like a robotic? Yeah, pretty much. In Banjo 2, there's um, a robotic Mumbo impersonator. Now, I, I, I really don't get it how this can really get viewed, because. It probably won't. I don't see the joy out of seeing two jackasses just playing the hell out of the scene for no reason. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, one of my, um, one of my most popular, uh, vi not one of my most popular video. Well, I guess somewhat to a bit of an extent. Uh... Leave my ball alone. It's not blue balls. <laughs> I was about to make a blue balls joke. Um. Hey, what's up? Did you gauge me? <laughs> um, I was about to say one of my most popular videos is the multiplayer video in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, which was just, or the three videos of that that were just me and Dallas screwing around in that. So, did you find those videos of Dallas? Ah, uh, they exist somewhere. If they are anywhere, they're on my old laptop, but I'm not, I haven't exactly looked there. I don't... Did I ever actually come to think of it? I don't think I ever actually told, showed anybody, or told the story of those videos. Oh. <laughs> Which is kind of funny, but um. Work this or anything. Uh, you put it. You put the ball in your. I put the ball next to the other ball. No, and no. Then you... I get a banana. <laughs> Okay, if this was Donkey Kong 64, that would be the case. Um... <laughs> really? You walked into me, not... <laughs> really? So that's why I'm, I'm doing... Dick all, um, because I don't know... Oh yeah, you put it in your vehicle, and then you can use the A button to jump, and... You probably know the rules of basketball by now, even though this is not at all what I would actually call real basketball. Yes, you know the rules of basketball. Yes, I know the rules of basketball, but what the, what the hell is this? Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. Come on, slam, if you want a jam. <laughs> hey, you, what you gonna do? Did you hear they were making a sequel to that movie? <laughs> <laughs> really? I think so, and it's, um... Oh, it's... Who is it this time? It was some... It wasn't, uh, um... It wasn't Michael Jordan, it was some other basketball player. Right? No. Or, or just because that he was in the movie and 
I didn't know you would say another basketball player before that. So... I'm, <laughs> I'm actually trying to look this up here. I don't remember who's, who was that's starring in there. Uh, I did just think of those cartoon characters and the Looney Tune characters and Bill Murray and Michael Jordan. Yeah. So that's it. That's what the guy from... Fucking... I think it was one of the guys from Happy Gilmore's... I mean, not Adam Sandler, but it's... Um... Some guy, some guy from another sports movie. Anyway, I don't remember a whole lot. Um, Can be Bob Barker. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, Space Jam Two is um, has LeBron James in it. I don't know who that is. Another another basketball player, essentially. So Michael Jordan in this one. As far as I know, no. But there's literally like nothing. I don't even 100% know how official this is, but I guess everything I'm seeing on here says, like, it's not happening soon, but it's sometime. Yeah, I don't really could have done better on my own. <laughs> Let's do one more random event here, and that might be good to go. No way, we've been on for a half an hour. Yeah. Wow. Don't f don't flee the net. Heavy ground vehicle should have. Ooh, I think this is more actual sumo than. You can use any vehicle you want here too, it's just a lot of these probably won't be that good. Or Well, bad design then. Duh. Bad design. Um, okay, if you're if you're gonna use that then uh like I I'll whoa, use the whoa, whoa, transformer. Whoa, the robot looked like Samus. Wait, which one oh shoot, I didn't see whatever. Um one you one right above the one you really Oh, I, I know what you're talking about. I'll show you that in a moment. You just had a big what the? I, I think it's that we're supposed to be staying in the nest. I actually will show you just kind of how cool this area is, though. Like, we're in Banjo Land right now. Nothing stops you from going anywhere else either, but like... What crack were they smoking? Because um, I would say that I would... If I make a game like this, it's like you gotta push the guy out of the, out of the ring. I would say, oh yeah, there's no, not allowed any flying vehicles under any circumstances. Um, you can restrict it's set like vehicle settings, but I just left it unchanged as if like you can use whatever vehicles you want. Yeah, like that's the point of the game. Yeah. Um, but if interestingly about um, this air, this level Banjo Land is that you and you may notice it. There's a dozen and a half other references to other Banjo Kazooie games in here. Like um, I'll try and see if I can find some pretty easy ones here. Like I, I don't know how much you know about Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie though. So okay. Like the scarf, the scarf there, for example, is uh, something in the ice level in the first Banjo Kazooie game, as is this whole snowman, for that matter. Um, I would watch Clement. So yeah, that's where we get where I'd be familiar with Banjo Kazooie, not not the second one. That's, okay. I just lost it to the second one. Yeah, or like here, for example, there's um. Um, these are some of the transformations and one of the bosses from Banjo Tooie. There's little things like that all over this world. So, yeah, we we were supposed to stay in the nest, but we're just going all over the damn place instead. But that's the point, though. If there's no point, you can basically make any point. Any point, yeah, any point. But 
it, the game's meant to be played in a certain way, but they're saying, oh yeah, but you can go around the whole level. <laughs> Why? That's a... Interesting question, but I'm not really sure. I don't know why I can't transform this. I'm almost positive I picked the transforming robot. But... Transformers, robots in disguise. Transformers for the <laughs> Or, <laughs> or my favorite song from Transformers the movie, which Morgan absolutely fucking hates. You've got the touch. You've got the power. It's been a few years since I've seen it. Okay, the, the 80s Transformers movie, I mean. Um, the cartoon movie. I, I just seen the, the, the old cartoon on retro, but I've never seen Okay, there is, there is an old animated movie. It's been probably a decade since I last watched it, but... I would, would have thought you would be talking about Shia LaBeouf. No, no. There is a remix of that. If you don't know, it's, it was this, um... The song is called, um... Um... The Touch by an artist named Stan Bush. Um... And, um... He mostly did, like, a lot of, like, film and movie soundtracks. For, or film and movie are the same thing. Like, a lot of film and cartoon soundtracks and stuff. Back in, like, the 80s and stuff. Although he's still around, anyway. He's... He did, it, it was basically like the unofficial theme song of Transformers the movie, like the 80s one. Um. I was just gonna say that I don't, I still don't get this game. Yeah, and that's alright. A lot of people probably don't. Um, the multiplayer is probably not the best first introduction to it, but it's. Yeah. Uh, it depends. I mean, I could, but, I mean... At least that we're not saying certain people's names. It's like, no one can really know the true identity of yeah. such and such. Yeah. I'm mean, just, like, sitting there just going, Oh, yeah, now I remember that I mentioned, and then all of a sudden it goes, Beep! And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well then, I think that's gonna do it for the first part of the multiplayer stuff in Nuts and Bolts. I think this is the first and final episode, like, I, I don't... For you, yeah. I want to I want to get other guests on for the series as well. So. Yeah, get, get someone else, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, let's get into this, and it's like... Yeah. Like, they know exactly what to do. And... I don't think anybody I've ever talked to knows much about this game, actually, so... What about the last guy? What last guy? Well... I don't want you to beep his name out, but Morgan, what about him? Does he oh. know anything of this? Uh, probably not, actually. He might get some of the references, but I don't think he knows much about the actual game Not itself. just the reference, I'm like saying, <laughs> the actual game play of this no, game, like he basketball, don't... and you had to get out of the of the car and get the basketballs and put in the hoops. What are you talking about? And then have to jump and then it's have like... You not seen the, have you not seen the alternate take of Space Jam? Where they do that? It's been years since I watched that movie. I know, same. Not really, I've only, it's only been about... You know, is it weird to say, like, three years ago might be a little bit of time, but not really at the same time, you know what I mean? Well, you think it's just yesterday that... Yeah, yeah. You know, it was, like, right around the time I graduated when I last saw it, but... I mean, and that it wasn't yesterday, but it does somewhat feel like it at the same time. Oh yeah, it totally feels like uh, it was just this yesterday when you threw your hand around me and I'm, like, I'm just in the like, I just want to go home. I just want to go home, get this done. <laughs> okay, I'm... your mother made me do that though. Well, she said get close, but she didn't say like, <laughs> grab your arm around him. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to do it for her. Man, thank you for joining me today, Darren. I, I hope you enjoyed playing. Oh yes, I enjoyed Banjo playing Jane. this game and then saying the random shit that comes out of both of our mouths. I hope you enjoyed Banjo. Jane. <laughs>
him. Ban Banjo Jam? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was like, what? Wait, what? Did he just mistakenly say that? Or... And I was like, okay. He did. He... I didn't mistakenly say it. 